Hi, and welcome to Unlimited 3D. After logging into your account, you'll be presented with the dashboard and a banner allowing you to upload the images that you wish to be turned into a 3D model. You could also upload zipped files of the already existing model, which needs optimization. If you've prepared images, it would be best for them to be as high resolution as possible. They should showcase the product from all angles and should allow for the texture and color of all materials to be clearly seen. If you're uploading a model, in the zip file, you can also include any assets that you may have, such as textures, maps, images, and so on. Make sure to enter a short description of what needs to be done, such as what part of the product needs to be configurable and what the configurations will be. Also include any important specification instructions or reference links. Depending on your need and purpose, you can mark one or several of the following options. 3D Viewer, 3D Add, 3D Configurator, 3D Add with Configurator, or a custom request, and click Submit. After you've successfully submitted your files, you will receive an email confirmation with a price and time frame estimate. If you're happy with it, your part of the job is done for now, and you can sit tight until we inform you that your model is ready on your unlimited 3D account. Once we inform you that your model is ready, you can log into your account and find the completely set up model within your project. You can now see what it looks like on the preview screen, and you can continue with the integration. First, go to Publish, and make sure that you click on Save and Publish. Here, you presented with an iframe code and API code. iframe will be used for integrating your 3D model on any web page. Just copy the code and paste it into your web page editor. The model will appear on your web page the same as it is on the platform's preview page. The second method of integration is using API code. It's used for setting up a 3D configurator. We will first be demonstrating in which way you can easily embed a 3D model on your website using iframe. Let's first open the HTML document in which we'll be embedding the model. As you can see, this HTML document has already been prepared with the layout. First, copy the iframe code from the platform. Now, open the HTML document. In the document, find a div you want to place your model in. You can now paste the code. Let's see what we've done so far. As you can see, the model has been embedded. Also, if you choose to have some configuration possibilities, the process will pretty much be the same, just with a few additional steps. In order to set up the configuration options that will be showcased as well, use the API code and follow these steps. First, copy the API code from the platform. Now insert the script in the HTML document and then replace container ID with the ID of the pre-designated div. The next step is to give the buttons a function. You need to insert the function for changing materials. First, find the name of the part that needs to be configurable and then insert its name in the parts field. Now let's do the same for the material. Do the same for each button in the layout that will configure a part of your 3D model.
Now that we've finished setting up the HTML document, let's check it out. As you can see, all options are now functional. This is all you need to do in order to have the 3D product on your website, with the ability to create configurators with an unlimited number of options. Depending on your needs, we've prepared different plans so you can always upgrade your current package and give yourself more opportunities. You can go through each plan's detailed information and the features included on the Compare Plans page. Thank you for watching. We're looking forward to having you as a part of our community.